we need it to for safe zones from zombie spawns. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Oh, okay. Oh shit, there's a bear. So, so yeah, we do have a good point. Um I would suggest not engaging with that. Oh, well, here's the hoping that uh, he finds the other zombies more tasty. Appetizing. Oh yeah, I need to fix my visual because I also reset my gamma down. Yeah, my gamma's a little down too, but that's a fair point. I was just busy scrapping in my inventory to get rid of some stuff. There you go. Oh. Just bright enough where I could qualify as dark, but not dark enough where I won't go. Alright, where the hell hell am I? You're just facing a wall, little curry. Walls are very important. You must keep your eye on them. Make sure they don't go wandering off. I have your balls to them. Nothing? Okay. That's a metal song. Ah, right. Balls to the walls! I have okay. another band who plays that song. Right, so if you've got if you're carrying a Molotov cocktail and you dive in the water, it doesn't actually extinguish it. Aww. That is a yeah, bit so of a was... disappointment. Nah, it's a minor thing, but it does mean I can throw the Molotovs underwater, I think. They just won't do anything. Oh, impact. fuck me. Bear? Yes. Um, to be honest, I'm not really seeing much difference in my... What the... Oh, it's a corpse. Hello, corpse. I'm not going to deal with you right now. Oh, party invite. Yes, thank you. I think they buff stamina regen just a little faster. Um, by default, it was a little bit on the sticky side sometimes. But they might have increased some stamina costs of the uh, high and tools to compensate. Depending on what they're doing. It wouldn't surprise for. me because I could like go all day without running out of stamina. Might also depend on um, your hydration level and stuff too. Possibly. Or they might have reduced the effect of that. I don't know. I don't know, but I should have plenty of water on me, so... There's a wolf fighting something. Have you noticed they've replaced a lot of the rotten trash models? Yeah. Can I count my cars? I'm getting some lag, but um, I think it's just because I'm moving through areas that have not been explored yet. So it's generating the terrain as I go. Don't yeah. mind me, I'm just stealthily harvesting trees. I see you up there. Bad. Uh, just using antibiotics. Yeah, might as well haul that along. Have you started anything down here? Yeah, it's just that the nurse is blocking my path. And I don't feel brave enough to take her on at night. You take make you a on, good you point. When I get there. there. There's actually two zombies. One the nurse and another one just further down the hill. Die, bitch! Um, I'll leave it in your capable hands then, Donna. What's that? I leave it in your capable hands. Have fun. What, killing zombie bitch here? Yes.
The melee weapons seem a little bit better than the bow there. Well, it has only a primitive bow, remember? So That is true. Remember, if you're going to use range weapons, crouch before firing. Yeah, better accuracy. As well as sneak attack damage. What in the... Is that a... What the hell's that? What the hell's what? Oh, it's seen me. Oh, it's seen me. Wait, no it hasn't. Glowing red eyes. I think that's a dire wolf. It wouldn't surprise me. Aren't those supposed to be a little on the rare side, though? Well, it's a, it's a big, really big doggy with red eyes. <clears throat> I don't know. You tell me what it is. Dinner if you kill it. Uh, let me just put down a bed. Really quick, because this might go sideways really fast. Yeah, speaking of beds, don't forget to put down yours. Right. I, I, at least I have got a blunderbuss, so I can do a lot of damage in a hurry. And I've got molotovs if I need them. Okay, let's see how close I can get before it spots me, and then I shoot it in the face. Right, there we go. There's not more of these things around here. Alright, so time to get chopping, right? Yeah, I'm... seriously, it's just a black shape with red glow where the yeah, eyes. Yeah, that's a star wolf. I thought it might be. Normal wolves. We don't want to mess with them. they are wolves. We Ow! I guess really he... don't want to mess Oof. with them. Two hit kill. On the bright side, I did hit it in the face with a blunderbuss shot. So. Oh, um. Hello, zombies. Have you come to play? Whoa! Spider one. Little help! Uh, oh, uh, fuckers, wise, fast! Dire wolves. Very, very dangerous. Um. Oh yeah, we've got total complete. Uh, we we don't drop anything, do we? Son of a bitch! At least I don't have to worry about food and water for a while. Yeah, that's the only good side about that. I also called it, didn't I? It's like um, I, I was going on about how you two had died, and I died soon after. Well, you went and hexed us, I think, I am. Went hexed myself, you mean? Quite possibly. Oh, man. Another seven job meters. Right. Oh, it, it was just bad luck that I happened to find a dire wolf in the middle of the road as I was walking. So. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty shit luck right there. Mm. Alright, zombies, bugger off. No more spawning around here. Luckily, because I died, it, I didn't get despawned. I think I pissed this one off real good. Ooh, there's a military base here. Oh yeah, it's got... Ooh. That's a new model, I think. Alright. There's, there's an army truck in the garage. Really? Anything interesting? Really? Yeah. I don't, I don't think those were in the game before. Or at least the model for them, since it's... Um, I think it's one that we salvaged or scrapped down or something. You know, this base looks uh, vaguely familiar to uh, YouTubers that I was watching. Uh, like, Block 13, something like that. Heard of him, Lilikari? I think I've watched a couple of episodes of his. Yeah. His, his run ain't too bad. I've been enjoying it so far. Um, to be honest, I've not seen anything from... Well, I figured you know, we were probably going to switch to 19 sooner or later, so I wanted to familiarize myself with it a bit. So that's what I spent most of yesterday doing. Ah, uh, fair enough.
And I am out of wood. I heard oh, that. that. That's an unfortunate change. Uh, you can't over you can't overload yourself on food or drink. Uh, I thought you could. It gives you a bit of a bonus. Oh. Whoa, no, shit! Anymore. Goddamn wolf! Um, I did mention there was a wolf around here. Yeah, found me. Um, but yeah, I mean, we could put in the previous version, we can't now. Oh, little. What happened to you, little guy? Wolf. Same um, one, probably. And I accidentally threw my spear so I had to resort to my axe. So that means you actually, when you come back, you're going to be disarmed, doesn't it? I still have my sledgehammer. Yeah, those sledgehammers look like they're pretty nasty. If you they can get them to me. hit. Yeah, that, that's the big drawback. Though, um, the heavy attack is actually a, a, an arc, so it can be a bit easier that way. Oh. Shit, that was... shit. You guys all right over there? I got him. Whoa. That sucked. The will be feasting on his corpse for days. There we go. The lake. So yeah, I was just chopping on this tree over here and then a wolfie jumped out and decided to bite me in the ass. How very friendly of it. I know, right? Okay, then I guess I'll just take a painkiller? I'm guessing the trader is south of you guys, isn't it? Uh, fairly uh, close by. More west. More west? Okay, we're not where I thought we were. Never mind. No, wait, we are where, where I yeah, thought we were. Yeah, we're very close to where we set up. Yeah, so the trader is like mostly south of us, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Unless they've moved the trader. Just a short jaunt to the south. It's... Yeah, it's southeast. Uh, what was that? Boner bus. Oh, okay then. Uh, there's a fat guy around you. Yeah, he's on the other side of the house. For Pete's sake. And I think your aim's a little off. I, I aimed into his chest. And I also clipped him with most of the shot to the head as well, and he didn't die, so... I think I just got this guy in the balls. I'm too impressed with how the blunderbuss is doing, all told. Die, fatty. Did you just do a flip for you guys? Yes. I saw that too. I think I just dinged. Indeed I did. Lovely. Um, Lovely enough. I... I'm not sure. Um, hold on. Because, mm, um... Three. The, the, all the quests didn't, didn't put me to level two. I only hit level two right, right as I was just coming up to the uh, lakeside. I'm going to put, like, one point to Lucky Looter because that always seems to help us out. Um, I had two points to it. Skull Crusher. Mm, I probably need to put another point to Strength. Yeah, we'll just put a point of strength. Yeah, 
You guys still there? Yeah. Okay. I was kind of worried because you're standing next to me, like, not moving. So I was, yeah. I was wondering if the game crashed or something. Don't forget to unlock that. I already did. Uh, I am. I did, actually. Hello. I got something for you. One of these, and one of these. Thank you. Uh, I I don't know how this happened, but I managed to pick up a second schematic. Um, I'm guessing we could probably just sell that to the trader. Uh, you mean a forge schematic? Yes. I don't know how I ended up with two, but yeah. Ah, am I in charge of the crafting at this time then? Uh, well, you usually take that route, so I... This is true. That's okay. why I gave it to you. Not just that I was trying to be presumptuous or anything, just... No, no, it's fine. It's fine. No problem. Um... Okay, if I go to int, then... Robotic sledge crafting. What? Yeah, um, I've actually seen this thing. It's a turret that's got a huge sledgehammer on the end of it that punches <laughs> zombies when they get too close. Kind of interesting. Um, right. Okay, that's a nice little addition. Um, I thought it was kind of clever myself. Hmm. Um, sadly, the int only gives me access to stun batons. Hmm. As far as an actual weapon is concerned. Okay. So, um, yeah, it still gives the least in terms of um, weapon proficiencies. Ah, well. Uh, dealer, adventurer, charisma. Huh. Nearby allies gain 20 health and stamina when near you. That could potentially be useful, yes. Lock and melee damage increased by 20% for nearby allies. Hmm. Nearby allies take less, 10% less damage from all sources. Take half damage from bleeding and stop bleeding twice as fast. That all sounds then, like pretty good stuff. And then level 4 of Charismatic gives plus 1 to all attributes of nearby allies. Was that a zombie? No, okay. Right. Yeah, so is this a permanent building then that we've got here? So uh, yeah. Yeah. That's kind of what I was going for. Right, so if I'm going up in, what are you guys going to focus on? Uh, I'm going to go for a sign perception again. You don't have to. Yeah, I like the perks in it, actually. I think I'm going to go with a melee shotgun type build, because I know shotgun is in the strength now. Um, yeah, it was previously. I guess I never noticed. <laughs> yeah, you never really went down the strength tree much at all, except for, like, um, the... Um, harvesting perks. Which are amazing. Hmm. Last time I was going shotgun and sledge because I really like sledges and the shotgun was down there anyway and very potent up close. I'm out of wood. I've spent the cobble rocks I had, so... Uh... Oh dear. Yeah. A question. Don't forget, this is an experimental build. Yeah. And speaking of a build, we need a zombies coming around. I heard it. Oh, great, a utility worker. I'm coming. Oh. Ooh, he. Oh. That took a few moments, but yeah, it's okay. I'm back up. Hmm. And he's dead. Yep, you're good here just in time. You are dead. No great surprise. 
Right, okay. Uh, I'm going to stash the forge schematic. And I also picked up two oil recipes as well, which I'm going to leave in there as well. Okay. Uh, because I'm going to I'm going, going to use Tech Junkie though for the AP turret ammo because that seems nice. But I'm doing that because as I unlock the perks, I'll get Forge Schematicing. Uh, schematicing? What? I'll get Forge Schematic anyway. So uh, might as well sell that for extra resources. Still leaves you with enough stamina to if I can get through a tree, so it's not too bad a nerf, I guess. Hm. By the way, I'm building this outside wall because it's going to be our actual defense wall, not the wooden structure we have here. I just reinforced the structure because I didn't know what else was going on. Yeah, the reason why I said a large open space is because I want to expand the space outward as much as possible hm. for defense. And a flashlight. And is this the mine then underneath here, little carry? The first stone and going to be the underground part of the base. Yeah. Is it? Is this just like the initial defensive wall then? Yep. How big of a wall are you going for? It's not very big. That's why I asked. Um. Did you guys see the link to that video I sent you with uh, some of the uh, horde knight? Base designs in there? Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah, I went through that. Yeah. I thought the one that was kind of like pyramid shape was pretty interesting. Mm, didn't they fix that? Uh, yeah, they there? did. Okay. Figures it'd be pointless now. It was still interesting to see. By the way, are we anywhere at a point where we could potentially start boiling water? I doubt it, but that'd be worth asking. Oh. Um, we, we don't have the. That's the point, we don't have a, a campfire, do we? Uh, no. Right, I'll put one together. Okay. I'm going to go get some water. Fill these uh, up. We've got a lot of um, bottled murky water already. I know. Never hurts to have more. Just be careful not to get dysentery. Uh, I got, you know, like, maybe four or five jars of plain water on me, uh, so, yeah. yeah, we Yeah, we can prepare um, bottled water straight up without any extra tools. Well, that's awesome, because that was a huge pain Come in on. the ass. Yeah, so uh, let me just do that immediately, so... It's going to take me a while, though, it's like... Hang on. Uh, I'll drop you all my bottled murky water so you can... Oh, I don't going. have any special bonuses or anything, so... Yeah. I figured you're already there. Oh, thank but you. yeah, we built this up to cobblestone layer. Literally, build us, yeah, build this wall up for blocks. Yeah, it should be okay yeah. for a while. Yeah. So, is our resource base going to be our horde base as well? Probably. Probably. I mean, I, yeah, I, um, I don't care, but yeah. Yeah, Dammy, you were going down strength tree, weren't you? Yes. That means we're going to be relying on you again for more advanced tools. Yep, probably. Right. Yeah, because that's those are strength uh, perks. Let's see. If I want to be actually any, any use in melee, I should probably pick up my usual of um, a few points into strength for skull crusher. Skull crusher is nice. Hmm. Or I could go get stun batons. The question is how easy it is to make a stun baton. Uh, no you idea. Can search up the recipe. Uh, baton parts. Oh, even the basic stun baton needs parts. And forged iron. Oh, that's new. Stun baton repulsor mod. Hmm. It's like, almost modern stun baton and sends zombies flying on a charged hit. Iron Man repulsor type thing, or no? If you hit, hit them with a charged stun baton, then it it knocks them away. Hmm. How well it does that, not sure, but it's tech junkie level five. I'm sorry, volume five rather. But yeah, I, I I think I feel like I should spend some points in um, skull crush just to get some sledges up. 
Uh, unless, well, actually, we, the stun chance is great on sledges, so. Damn, but didn't you say you were going to do uh, sledges and shotguns this time? Uh, I was going to go shotguns, but uh, probably... Okay, right. Never mind. What? Yep, yep. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, you're probably what? I'm probably going to do shotguns and clubs. I just don't think I I would do well with a hammer. Alright, so it, it's still worth me investing some points there then. Yeah. It seems that Skull Crusher is, uh, only works with sledges now. Oh, that, that was always the case. Hmm. I didn't know this. I don't think there's a, ever been one that specifically worked for clubs, because the club's just like the basic weapon. Uh, yeah, it's Pummel Pete. Yeah. Clubs and bats, which is that, also in strength. Uh, yeah, that, that one. Well, I'm never going to get that point back, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh... Why would you uh, spend so it? purchase a forget me uh, tonic. Well, yeah, but that's like expensive as shit. Yeah, it's very expensive shit. Oh, I forgot to craft the. Ah. Uh, is anyone working on storage right now? On what? Storage. Uh, we don't have a specific storage setup, if that's what you mean. Okay. Do we have a, just a chest to drop random shit in then? We do, yes. Okay. I, I built one when I first arrived. Okay. And I think from here on out I will be going for the um, my industry stuff. Considering I've just spent four points to get into uh, a level 3 sledgehammer for my own defensive purposes. And that should hold me over for quite a while. You're really going after him with that. Oh, very nice hit. Well, level 3 sledge is, you know, more power. And it's also um, because of the perk. 20% uh, more damage and a 30% chance to knock down enemies with a power attack. Okay. Uh, does anyone feel like going to investigate, you know, one of those little houses over there? Uh, yeah, that's where I was going. As soon actually. as I can get out of this hole, yes. But the problem what is, I can't build. What have you done? Did you dig straight down, little guy? I have ladders. Oh, and I forgot it's I just still have a bunch of meat on One me. block behind me, so I can place them. Crushed sand. Oh, so you okay down there then? Got some yes. Okay. Oh, right. shell. Uh, is anyone in need of bandages? I got a few you mean on medical me. medical or standard? Just standard. Um, I don't actually have any standard. There you go. What? Um, I'm not there. Oh, I thought I saw... Okay, that was a little current, that, my bad. That, yeah, that was... Where are you at? Going. I'm actually over near the first houses. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I... Yeah, I'm probably good to go. Well, no. I can make some more room with this. Uh, don't need the paper. Maybe a few points into harvesting skills wouldn't go on this. Mm. No, not really. Um, I did pick up some steroids. Block damage increased by 30% on the first point spent. Also lets you get access to level 2 tools. Hmm. Lovely. So yeah, I mean, even one point would be a significant upgrade to the da how quickly you kill stuff with them. So, might be worth it. Alright. So we're at the house. Which, which house did you guys go to? Uh, we're near the first one. Um, you can see our markers on your compass. Yep. Okay, now if you're going to use a bow, crouch. Sneak attack damage does 3.5. Yeah, I saw that. It, was, it does for me. 
I like crouching just because of the extra accuracy, honestly. And I think I'm a little loud. Oh, it's one of these houses. Alright. Oh, I see you've got a sledge as well. Do you want a better one? Uh, yes, it's just only a level 2. Uh, I can make a level... well, wait, I don't have the resources. If I had the resources, I could craft a level 3 up for you. What do you need? Stone? Um, let me check. Sledge... yes, just need some stone. I've, I need 8 more stone to make it. Let's see here. It's all my stones back at the house. That's fine. I mean... Oh, hello! It's already too late. There you've been a lot of demo. Yeah, it must be loud as hell or something. I, I barely went in there and they woke up. No, I think it was really close to the entrance, so it would have been hard to not wake it up. Fair enough. Hello, torso. Oh, I wish I had a wrench. Oh, wait, you guys have Lucky Loser, don't you? Yeah, I picked points. it up. Whoa, that was a levitating torso. Yeah, I saw that too. Backpack. Yeah, let's just avoid looting stuff then, since you guys actually have points in that. Yeah. Two points into it, so. Well, damn, it's not one, so it's still higher than me. Yeah. By the way, 17 forged steel. Nice! That's nice. Bag. Anything of note? Uh, there's a zombie coming towards us, yes. We all bash his head in at once. Yeah. Oh look, a zombie stripper! <laughs> Dead. Uh, there's a tool chest over there. Or a toolbox. There's a backpack in the corner. Now I'm gonna let Lily Car open that. Uh, I just heard a zombie. They're, they're outside. Yeah, it's just outside. I'll, I'll head down and deal with that. By chance, do we have food? Only like. Whatever cans we started with. We've not found any, I don't think, from here. Um, I do. dropped a bunch of meat in a chest. Well, I, I never said anything cooking, so. What's that thing in here? Darn it. Okay, I thought that might have been. Alright. Be nice if we had a wrench. Would nice. Would be nice. Yeah. Oh, helmet. Helmets can Guys? be useful. Yes, I am. Um. You okay? Not really. Have you seen my health bar? No. Oh, there's a supply drop coming in. Thank you. Um, that's kind of an odd pose. Who wants to go after the supply drop? I'd say Lil Kari, because he's got the skill. Okay, um, do we want to do that no. uh, rally no, it's point? too far away. Oh, I got uh, eggs on me too, it seems. Mm 
I'm at like 25 health. Um, and we need uh, hold on, Ian. more wood. Ian. Over here. What? Oh, thank you, but sadly I already took some. Oh, okay. And besides which, besides which, it's 25 max health, not uh, temporary. Hmm, okay. So yeah, I'm pretty banged up. I need something to restore my max HP. Well, we'll use it at some point, I'm sure. Oh, definitely. I really like these these things. 